I'm here with Sammy, dear to my heart, a fellow Monktonian. How are you? I'm great. <laughs> so congratulations on receiving this award. Um, you've been doing stuff in the nonprofit sector. You've been speaking. You're an entrepreneur. You're doing so much at such a young age. So talk me through what you were awarded for tonight. I was awarded for my work in terms of equitable education and opportunities and really just the passion I've been able to bring as a newcomer since I've only been in Canada for about four years. So last summer I worked full-time at Brilliant Labs, which is a STEM nonprofit. So about 35 to 40 hours a week just teaching kids coding and digital skills. And currently I've been working on founding a network for high school students in Atlantic Canada and especially those who are racialized and newcomers so that they are aware of the opportunities available to them and also working on more equitable in equity in resource sharing and mentorship opportunities. Absolutely. So a anyone watching this would probably see that I've talked about similar issues having gone to the high school that you are currently going to. Can you talk me through a little bit of what you find that's missing that you're the gap that you're trying to fill for racialized students? I would say definitely that lack of support it can feel like like with the guidance counselors and not necessarily understanding your background and personal perspectives but then also the factor of just it, it's really different and you know systemic racism in schools is still a real thing and the lack of I'd say representation in certain careers like for example I'm trying to go into engineering and I don't really know a lot of people in that space within the community wonderful well you're doing amazing work and I, I am pr very proud of you if I'm allowed to be <laughs> um, thank you so much for chatting with us and um, yeah go and enjoy this amazing night and be celebrated thank you